Ahoy hoy. Well, as the title suggests, I'm going to be talking about the human centipede. But more specifically than that, I'm going to be talking about the moment when the human centipede lost me. Now, if you don't know what the human centipede is, uh, it's a horror film that came out in 2009. Uh, and it's about a, a mad doctor who decides to sew three people together um, mouth to anus. That's, that's what it's about. I've given you both the synopsis and the entire plot there because nothing else happens. It's a horror film. It's a shock film. What do you want? Anyway, a little bit more detail. A mad doctor who used to separate Siamese twins now wants to make the human centipede, which is what I just described. Uh, so he, he lucks out when a couple of girls get lost in the woods and find their way to his house. So they're driving along and they get stuck in the woods, right? Lindsay, I am not getting out and walking. Okay, so we're just going to sit here till the sun comes I up. have heels and shorts on. I'm not going outside. Are those headlights? No, they are the twin moons of Romulus and Remus. Yes, they're fucking headlights. Jesus Christ. So they get talking to this German who is no help. <gasps> so they go for a walk in the woods. And they literally go for a walk in the woods. Lindsay, we've been out here for like an hour, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm tired and I'm cold. I'm not moving. Anyway, I don't know. I usually wear my flats when I go clubbing, but why would you decide to walk through the woods, not on a path, literally through the woods in your high heels? And not just that, why would you walk through the woods at all? Why wouldn't you walk along a path? Houses are usually on paths, if that's what you're looking for. Oh my god, is that... is that a house? I don't know. Is this a genuine question? Is this rhetorical? Why was this piece of dialogue put in there? It's a, it's a light or something. Come on, let's go. Quick. Oh, for some reason, I don't believe you. Okay, so let me talk about this plaque. At the very beginning of the movie, we see this creepy doctor, who they're about to meet, looking at photos of his three Rottweilers, um, who he has sewn together, and he's saying, oh, my beloved three dog, you know, because it's dead, because you're not meant to sew things together. Uh, and obviously this plaque is where it's buried, right? So he's sewn three dogs together, mouth to ass, which I imagine is much more difficult with dogs than humans anyway. Right, and it's died, and then he's got a little little grave for it. Did he make that plaque? Who made that plaque? But I don't know. I mean, if, I, if someone asked me, oh, I, I want a plaque that says, my beloved three dog, I probably would ask some questions. Where, where's this plaque come from? Has it come from eBay? What the hell's going on? It, you know, it's a bit like if I was a plaque maker and someone came to me and they said, can you make me a plaque that said she didn't stand a chance? Okay, so now we reach the point that loses me, because up until now, I have been riveted. So the girls have been walking for about an hour, and it's started to rain. And they want to get out of the rain, and they find a house. Joy. It's raining, the door. Do you see anybody? No. Oh, wait, yes. Oh. Wait. Oh. Can we come in? Can we use your phone so we can call the car company service? Uh, Are you alone? Yes, we're alone. Come in. The stare alone, the gaze of someone who holds you in the highest contempt. And then he says, are you alone? Why would you go in there after he said that? I wouldn't go in there. If I was a woman, I certainly wouldn't go in there. That is the face of someone who is going to make you into a human centipede. This is basic, people. Listen, I get that they're wet and cold and lost, but they've only been lost for an hour. It's not like they've been crawling along the floor of the Black Forest for four days or anything like that. Turn around and go back to the car. My sympathy for these two people just immediately plummets. It's like saying, oh, I, I heard something in the cellar. Well, I'll go alone. 
just blew it for me. That was it. I just couldn't, couldn't believe it anymore. Couldn't believe the human centipede anymore after that. One thing I was going to say about Dieter Lassa, who plays the, the mad doctor, um, was uh, originally my recollection of the movie, because I've seen it twice. Uh, when I saw it the first time, or my, my memory of the first time, was that he, he played it completely cliched. And it is. But this is what I was going to say about the human centipede. This is what I find interesting about it, is a lot of it's cliché. It's actually a very standard horror movie once you get past the concept. Uh, and it isn't particularly graphic compared to other stuff. It is, I wouldn't call it torture porn. It's not like Saw or anything like that. It's quite conventional. Uh, and I think it's very self-aware. You see, w when I watched it again, and I watched him open the door, I had to really think for the rest of the movie, is this a joke? Is the human centipede just pitch black humour? And I guess the answer to that is, I don't know, but I don't think it is. I think it's completely earnest. And you know, when I first started to research the human centipede and read reviews and things that were written about it when it first came out, I found a lot of people said it was, it was horrific and, and terrible and it was disgusting and it was the most, most terrifying thing, the most terrifying concept ever. But I don't find it that terrifying at all. I mean, yeah, it's gross. You've got the whole mouth to ass thing, you know, and, and the person at the back has to eat the shit of the, the shit of the person at the front, like shit squared. But that's it. I mean, you know, it's just like sore. Like, oh, you have to cut your hand off to be free. It's, yeah, it's a nasty concept, but that's it. If you look at John Malkovich, where the idea is, is that you could live inside somebody else's mind, watch everything that they do, see through their eyes, but be unable to control them or influence them at all. Just influence them at all, just be trapped inside them, that's much more terrifying. But you know what, for all that I've said, it's quite entertaining. I mean, once the human centipede gets sent together, that's kind of it. I mean, he literally just tries to teach it to fetch him a paper. I mean, the, the real problem is, is why has this guy made this? It, it, what a stupid thing to make, really. He's got his human centipede and, and then he just kind of has it. It's like someone who wants a puppy, you know, you've got the puppy now, what do you want to do with it? It's just going to fucking shit everywhere, isn't it? So there you have it. That's the moment that lost me in the human centipede, or would have lost me had I been so inclined to switch it off. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you some other moments which, which brought a smile to my face. So check out the doctor's coat. That is not a medical coat. I mean, where did he get it from? The house of Mengele? I know it's only a small thing, but it's that sort of thing which makes me roll my eyes. And check out this little bit as well where after he's sewn the human centipede together and he's waiting for it to, to wake up, he has a brief moment to himself. Look at him! What, is he in Bill and Ted's heaven or something? Is he in the Time of Legends from Time Bandits? Check out the Crocs! What, why would he have this? Why would he wear this? And if you look at his Crocs, I'm sorry, I'm obsessed with his Crocs, but they're not like Crocs, they're not proper Crocs, they're like Wellington boots or something that he's, he's made himself as, I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, another piece I wanted, I wanted to show you as well um, is the bit where the police come round and he offers them a drink and one says to them, oh, I'd love a cup of coffee. And he says this. Gleichwohl, was can ich Ihnen zu trinken anbieten? Kaffee vielleicht. But oh, for Kaffee habe ich keine Zeit. Wasser ist das Einzige. Oh yeah, coffee, you know. It's usually drunk by people who are just layabouts, who can't be bothered to do anything. They just drink it to relax and chill out, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just like weed or something, to be honest. It's just, what a waste of time. A professional person like myself would never drink coffee. Fuck off. Also, finally, there's this bit, which is the only bit I remembered from the first time I watched the movie, uh, which is uh, when the Doctor's explaining with children's diagrams what he's going to do to the three people of the human centipede. <laughs> Don't you know that we British can do some serious drinking when faced with a 10.30 closing time? I mean, come on. He might as well have said, fuck you, Gojira! So that's all I'm going to say about The Human Centipede. Do I think it's a bad film? No, not at all. In fact, I, I think it really succeeded in what it wanted to do. I don't think it deserved the hype it got, but I don't hold anything against it for that. I haven't seen the second or third one. I'm going to watch them now, and I will probably do a blog about them. I don't know. Uh, maybe they're, I've heard they're pretty bad, so we'll see. But, you know, until next time, like, share, comment, and subscribe.
if you're alone. Ass to mouth. 